The NKs are the natural killer cells. NK or natural killers. Now there's two types of lymphocytes. There's the large lymphocytes and the small lymphocytes. And the natural killer cells are the large granular lymphocytes because they contain granules in their cytoplasm. And they're a very important, innate, non-specific defence mechanism. They're found in the lymph nodes, as you might expect because they're lymphocytes. They're found in bone marrow and they're also found in the blood. Very important cells. Because they'll act against a wide range of potential infecting organisms and they will act against them straight away. They're kind of first responders, if you like. And they secrete a cytokine called perforin. Now a cytokine is a chemical which goes from one cell to another. So the NK cells release perforin and as we'll see this has an effect on other cells. And they can kill microbes, bacterial cells. They can even kill some tumour cells, some cancer cells. If they recognise them as being foreign, they will kill them. And this is a fascinating idea. It means that good immune function is necessary for the prevention of malignant disease. So it may be that people get cancer really quite often, but God willing you won't get the features of cancer because the natural killer cells are killing it off when there's only one cell or two cells present, which is absolutely brilliant. And the NK cells, NK cells also kill virally infected cells. They can produce some interferon as well, and they can also stimulate apoptosis. But the first thing that it was discovered that NK cells did and maybe one of their most important functions on a day-to-day -day basis is to kill virally infected cells. So we said that viruses are obligate intracellular parasites. They can only reproduce inside cells. So here we have a body cell. Could be in the back of your throat. And nasty viral particles have got into this cell, causing infection. Now, when this virus is reproducing inside a cell, some viral glycoproteins are released and go on to the cell membrane of the cell. So viral replication inside a body cell, because today you've got a sore throat, this is in the back of the pharynx. Viral replication inside this cell will cause viral glycoproteins to come to the surface of the cell. And these are viral glycoproteins. They are foreign molecules. And what actually happens is that there's receptors on the NK cell, on the natural killer cell. So there's the NK cell. It's nucleus. The granules in its cytoplasm. What will ha happen is the NK cell will actually bind to these viral glycoproteins. There's a binding here. So receptors on the surface of the NK cell bind to the viral glycoproteins. And that's how the NK cell knows that this cell is infected. It can't actually go into the cell, because this is a body cell here. But it can detect that this cell is infected because of the viral glycoproteins. And when it does this, it releases perforin, as we saw in the demonstration about complement. And this perforin will perforate the body's own cell, causing death of this body cell. So what the NK cell is actually doing is killing the body's own cell. If you like, there's some terrorists have taken over this house. And rather than try and kill the terrorists one at a time, it just chucks a hand grenade in and kills the lot. Now that might seem like a fairly aggressive strategy, but what it's doing when it kills the body cell, the NK cell, as well as killing the body cell, is killing all the viruses which are present inside that cell. So it's actually worth doing. So when you've got a sore throat, the reason it goes red and sore is because the NK cells are killing body cells. That's what's actually causing the soreness and the inflammation. So we notice it produces some interferons and it also stimulates the process of apoptosis which I'll talk about in just a minute. But if we look at this diagram now, here we see the natural killer cells 
There's the nucleus of the cell. And we see there's granules, which are actually vacuoles, inside the cell that contain these chemicals such as perforin. The natural killer cell will actually bind to the virally infected cell, so it's even closer than that. It will release these chemicals. These chemicals will kill the cell. That's okay because the cells next door can divide and make some new ones. But it's important to kill off this viral infection before it has time to spread to other cells. And also natural killer cells can act against cancer cells as well. And the last thing I want to talk about is the apoptosis. Do you remember this one, apoptosis? It means cell suicide. So apoptosis means that the cell will release its lysosome in its lysozymes and auto-digest itself. Cell suicide. And the NK cells can induce cells to kill themselves, induce apoptosis. And of course, when the cell kills itself, it will kill any viruses which are in it. And if it's a cancer cell, well, that's exactly what you want. You want it to kill itself. So the function of the natural killer cells.